it's Tanvi. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that it's fall. There's finally apple orchards opened up here in Nashville, so we decided to check one out today. Today we're in Nolensville, Tennessee, and we're checking out the Morning Glory Apple Orchard. And they're having a fall festival, and there's lots of food trucks and lots of apple products, so we're gonna try as many as we possibly can. This place is really cool and they have apple slushies, so I'm going to give it a taste test. I should have gotten a bigger size. I got a small mini one because we bought a lot of other stuff, but this is delicious. It's like sweet and tangy and definitely needed because it's so hot out today. It's not fall weather. We just got home from the apple orchard and I've been to like one apple picking place before but this was different because their orchards were like young orchards so we couldn't pick anything which I understand but they like gave us apples. These are muscoat apples and I'm I don't think I'm saying that correctly but these are like green apples and they're good for baking. Apparently, so I'm gonna be making an apple pie. Well, these won't last Thanksgiving, but I'm just gonna we're just gonna do a apple orchard haul right now because guess what? I did buy that will last until Thanksgiving. We got apple pie filling. Literally just canned, not canned, mason jarred, jarred apple pie filling. So all you have to do according to the can, and you don't have to refrigerate this because it's like sealed, it's airlocked. You open this Thanksgiving, you pour it into a pie crust and you bake it and you have apple pie from local apples. We also got a caramel apple. Um, the packaging broke on the car ride here that's okay. It's perfect. I've not had a caramel apple since I want to say fifth grade. So a really long time ago. So I can't wait to dig in, take a bite of that. We also got the very last caramel apple cheesecake that they had. I, I need to open it. Oh my god. Oh, it kind of broke, but it's so It looks so good. There's pecans on it or pecans, whatever you want to call it. That's not all. We also got apple moonshine jelly. I don't know what that is. There was also apple toe jam there, apple kettle corn, dried apples, cobbler topping. There's everything you could think of there. Think of anything with an apple, they had it. They also had an apple slushie. The apple slushie was so good, but we got one more thing, which we had to get. I mean, you have to get apples at an apple orchard, and you also have to get apple cider. I'm so excited to try this. I'm gonna get a few things, and then we should do a taste test. Okay, so I'm not gonna eat any of the apples because it's kind of messy, kind of weird to eat an apple on camera. So 
I'm not gonna try one of the apples and I can't open this until Thanksgiving. So can't try this, but we are going to taste test the cheesecake. I guess that's really messy too, but it's fine. It's supposed to be messy. We're gonna taste test the moonshine jelly first because what is it? I don't know. Okay, it says, okay, it's literally just jelly with moonshine in it. There's corn whiskey in it, an artificial moonshine flavor. I mean, I liked moonshine when I tried it, so maybe I'll like it. Oh, hopefully I can open it. Oh, that was easy. That was actually really easy. Ooh, doesn't smell good. I'm gonna eat it on a baguette. Ooh, look at the consistency. I feel like that, oh, I feel like that's too much. It's kind of like jello honey. I'm gonna spread it around. I'm gonna try it by itself. Like the smallest little crumb. I have to touch it because it's not working. It's good. It's good. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a cross between apple butter and marmalade. It's good. I'm not gonna finish it though. It doesn't taste good on the baguette. So I'm gonna put this to the side so we don't have to look at it. Now let's move on to the cheesecake. So it kind of broke, but that's okay. I'm gonna get a piece with a pecan. Are you someone that says pecan or pecan? 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 Now I forgot what the other way was. I'm one of those people that just changes. Like I just say either or, I don't know why. But here goes nothing, apple cheesecake. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, that is like literally <laughs> so good. Like the graham cracker is like, you can tell there's lots of butter in it. It's good, it's really good. I like that there's dried apples or freeze dried apples on top with pecans with like a delicious little caramel sauce. That's really good. I This is my favorite thing that I've had so far. Now, for the moment that I've been waiting for, the caramel apple. Like I said, I haven't had, oh, a caramel apple, come on, since fifth grade. Because you know how there's some foods that like, after you ate them, you kind of got sick after, so then you've kind of been turned off of the foods that's caramel apples for me caramel apples and pizza bagels but i feel like it's been years and years and years so i'm gonna give it a try all i got was caramel hold on It's good. Yeah, it's definitely really good. But I'm not gonna eat any more of it. The caramel is really good. It's like a buttery caramel. The last thing we need to try is the apple cider. I got myself a cup. And we are going, oh, I should've, sh should I shake it? I always forget to shake stuff before. 100% juice, that's good. 
As long as it doesn't have artificial moonshine flavoring in it, I think we're good. Why am I, why am I twirling it? Okay, time to taste it. Yeah, I really like it. Well, so I had their apple slushy earlier today and it was like really sweet, but it was also tangy. But this one, this isn't as sweet because I guess when you make frozen drinks, you have to add more sugar for like the sweet profile to like come through. Um, but this is like not that sweet. So it's like perfect. I've, I've started not to like, I've started to not like um, super sweet things. They make me feel terrible. <laughs> So this is perfect because, you know, I love the Trader Joe's spiced apple cider and apple cider, the honey crisp apple cider, but th those are really sweet. So I think I prefer this more. Grown in the Tennessee Valley. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed spending some time at the apple orchard with me. I'm blown away with how many things that we got. And if you're on the fence of visiting your local apple orchard or buying fall apple treats, this is your sign to go do that next weekend. Because as you can see, there are so many different ways you can enjoy apples this fall. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I post food videos, travel vlogs, and other lifestyle content. Hope to see you in the next one.